As we all unfortunately know, 2020 was a hurricane season like no other here on the Gulf Coast, and we want everyone out there to be prepared for the next time a hurricane or any severe weather strikes. This morning to tell us all about this and a special tax-free weekend you can take advantage of. We have Baldwin County EMA Director Zachary Hood, and we also have Commissioner Joe Davis. Joe, Zachary, great to see you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Joe. You Good to much. be here. Thanks for having us. Well, let's start with that. Joe, I'll start with you. Man, what a year 2020 was, and especially hitting Baldwin County hard. Can you just talk a little bit about the impact of these storms? Well, when you look at it from, um, it's been a while since we've had a serious hurricane. We will have additional hurricanes when we don't know, but about being prepared for it, we learn so much, and we learn from every storm. Uh, having grown up uh, 100 miles north in Thomasville, hurricanes were something that hit the coast, and then we had to deal with the tornadoes. Well, this is my first hurricane living down here, and I was guilty of thinking, well, it's just gonna be a one or a two. Yeah. And we didn't realize just how slow it was gonna move, and it devastated us. Well, to your point, there's been a lot of rapid intensification with these storms that we may have not seen in the past where it looks like okay it's going to be this or that but then within the last 24 to 48 hours it magnifies dramatically the day we're taping this interview here uh, zachary condolences to you your hometown fultondale was just yeah. hit by that tornado so right. first of all very sorry to hear about that yeah fultondale's been through a, a very large tornado situation before and i know that they'll they'll be strong following this but what it does for us and what it does for me is it, it makes what we do personal as an emergency manager in our county and even in our region of the state. There might be individuals watching this from the counties around us. And what we want to encourage you, especially after this year when we know everyone in this area have been impacted in some way, some fashion, somehow, we have been impacted, whereas we hadn't seen that in about 16 years. And I, I think because of that, some people got a little lax with their preparations right. and, and really didn't think, all right, this hasn't happened in a while. They weren't thinking about it. If you didn't know then, now you know. You have to be prepared. And we want to tell the folks about a great opportunity to do just that. Y'all have been working hard to create this upcoming tax-free weekend, February 21st through the 23rd. Joe, tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Well, the key there is to recognize that there are things that you need. Those of you that have grown up here and been here through a hurricane kind of know what they are, but you need reminders. But then we've got many people that are here that haven't been through a hurricane, or this maybe was their first one. So we need to make sure that they take advantage of the sales tax, uh, state, county, and, and local. That's 10%. 10% is a good savings. And with the distribution chains like they are, our encouragement centers around making a checklist of what you need and going on and getting it now. Don't wait until the last minute. If you're going to buy an $800 uh, generator, you're going to save $80 on that generator. And uh, Zach, you wanted to talk about some other things that you think people should really look at at that checklist. Yeah, I'm going to call it a community preparedness checkup is what what I would like to call it and what I mean by that is let's look at some items that we knew uh, and have was known to cause issues uh, before during and after Sally and one of which I'd like to point out is the carbon monoxide alarm mm -hmm. that's right the weather radio obviously batteries and again I've had a significant amount of individuals like you said that so they said hey hey Zach I want to purchase a generator yeah I think that's fantastic and if it's less than a thousand dollars you will be exempt from taxes that weekend and so we want you to prepare now that's to right. make that purchase maybe you are going to go this weekend next weekend next month I'm telling you on this particular weekend the weekend is for you it's for you to save a little bit of money while being prepared and that's what we want to accomplish all right and guys we're running short on time but to see that full list of things that they may want to consider purchasing and all the information about when it is and all that kind of stuff where can they go for that yeah the Alabama Department of Revenue has done a wonderful job with that the Baldwin County EMA, also for the surrounding counties. Look at your emergency management agencies. They all do a great job advertising. And so uh, thank you for having us today. Communication things, batteries, uh, tarps to keep things dry because when things happen, they happen quickly. 
and to have the items available right away so you can save your property. Such a big day. impact, such a big difference if you're ready to go. Joe and Zach, thank you guys so much for coming in. We truly appreciate it. Make plans to be prepared right now.